Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to install a C compiler in our AWS EC2 instance. So let's get started with it. So just log into your AWS management console and here under the all services, you can see EC2 over here. Just click on that. So now our EC2 management console is opening over here. And here you have your instances. So just click on the instances. So you have one instance which is in running state. So we will launch a new instance over here. So click on this launch instance button. And here we are going to choose this Amazon Linux. Select and here we are going to select the T2 micro. Here it is T2 micro. So just select that and click on next. And here configure instance details. So we are not going to touch this. Go to next and we are not adding any storage now. Click on next and security groups. So we are not going to access it through a HTTP call, right? We are going to access this only via the SSH terminal. So just say next and here you can just review and launch your instance. So all your configurations you can just review over here and then click on launch. So here we are just going to say create a new key pair and I will name it as C compiler. So just say compiler, compiler key. Yeah, download key pair. So here it is downloaded over here dot pem file. And once it is downloaded, you can launch your instance over here. So here it is, view instances. So now what we have to do is you have to open our putty gen. Say putty gen. So we are going to generate the PPK file. So that is a private key. I'm going to load this. Go to downloads. And select all files. So here the PEM file has been imported. Now we are going to say save private key. Say yes. And did the downloads. So I'll just save it on my desktop. And say C key. Save. So now it is saved. So we'll just open your putty. And so here you have to mention EC2 hyphen user at the IP address of your instance. So we just created this instance, right? So we'll just rename it. So you can rename your instance by clicking on this mark over here. So let me say C compiler instance. Yeah. Save. We'll just open that instance and you have your public IPv4 address. Just copy that and open your putty, not the putty gen. So this is the putty and paste your IP address over here. So now go to your SSH and auth. So here you click on browse and select your PPK file, which you just created. So open and so click on open. So here just say accept. And here it is. So your SSH terminal is open now. So now we have to uh, install the C compiler over here. So for that we have a command. So just say sudo m install gcc. Hit enter and so you have few options over here. So just say yes. Hit enter and everything will be downloaded. So now the C compiler is installed successfully. So now let us check if it is working. So we will just create a file here, say vi and your file name. So I'll just say sharma.c. So it is a C file, right? So you have to keep it as .c extension. So here you're going to type your program. So I'll just say 
has include stdio.h say void main and here I'm going to give a simple print statement over here printf this is C compiler message okay so now once it is done you just press escape and then colon wq hit enter so you are out of the file now so to execute the file we need to type the command gcc and the file name that is sharma dot c and then hyphen o the file name sharma hit enter and now you just have to give dot slash so within the same directory you have the file name and here you can see the message we have got it this is a c compiler message so from that file so if you have given something with the input then you have to once you have run this command you have to give your input and then it will execute that program whatever you have written in that c file so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to install the c compiler and run our c program in our ec2 instance so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you